was a good follow-up. Uh, both of you are former professional athletes whose son have followed in your career footsteps. But Matt, what is this experience like? Uh, let's start with you because you just said you had uh, two players that are playing mm -hmm. right now, Crespi. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I got twin boys, Isaiah and Carter. They're freshmen playing varsity. Uh, they knocked nice. out the one, the number one team, uh, Sierra Canyon, where uh, Bryce goes last night. Uh, and it, it, it's been an amazing journey, an amazing roller coaster. And, and you know, when Key was echoing that they're going to hate on you because of who your pops is, it's been the same thing. But I've been preparing my kids for this since they were little. You know what I mean? Yeah. I came fresh out of the NBA and started coaching them in AAU, and we worked our way to the number one team in the country by the time we were seventh and eighth grade. But it was always, oh, they're this or they're that or you're that. They're just because they're your sons. And to me, that made them work harder but also be prepared for the brightest lights. Now, again, they're freshmen playing varsity at Sierra Canyon, a rough environment, and they're both doing their thing. Like, it's not, I'm their dad, but their work speaks for itself, just like I'm sure your son's work spoke for itself. So it gets frustrating at times, but at the, at, at the end of the day, I just want to make sure my boys are prepared for all the bullshit that may come and all the glory that may come. Yeah, no, it, it's the same thing, Matt, with, with <clears throat> Keyshawn. It was the same thing with my nephew, although my nephew's not my son. I helped my brother right. raise him. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? He lived in my mom's household. With Keyshawn, the hate is just, that's just what I used to tell him all the time. You know, because he's a social media dude. Mm -hmm. he, he like all that shit, the mm -hmm. Instagram, and he like yep. dealing with all. I tell him, say, chap, uh, uh, what did they say? Uh, clap back at him. Mm -hmm. Go on and tell him, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, I got a brand new Camaro because that's my daddy. You <laughs> right. fucking right. <laughs> right. Yeah, I live in a right. nice house because it's my daddy. Right, right. He, he I has told you, a lot of that way. is jealousy, man. I ain't a got, lot of that. man, I have no problem. Yeah. Telling my kids to tell a motherfucker all what day is. long, what it is. I'm on top because it's my daddy who's putting me in what a position to do it. But also, you got to think about it from a standpoint of this social media. You've never seen someone that's doing well talk down about somebody who's not, you know what I mean? So it's just, it's the people that are below you with all due respect, whether it be social status, cl uh, cl uh, classification, or, or talent, who are just, you know, looking up like, damn. And, I, I would give anything to be there, but since I can't be there, let me talk bad about it. And you. I always tell, I always tell my kids, I tell him in general when he was playing ball, if it's not what you want to do, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, I can't. If love you want, more if than you, you want to, if you don't yeah. want to do it, and you want to go chase the skirts and hang out and graduate from school and get education, do you think? I'm good. Which I'm gonna support you. Don't even trip. Right. You don't have to play. Yeah. Cause I play. Right. You don't have to play football because I played it. And, and my I, nephew played it. And it's you unfortunate. And you probably seen it too. Like sometimes I feel like kids are trying to live through their children and I feel like they make it a job too early and sometimes the parents love it more than the kids do and I feel like that's when the kids are burnt out you know what I mean I made absolutely I, my whole thing was I never worked the twins out at all like Cole Cole worked them out for their 10th birthday one time and it kind of turned the light on but they really didn't start working out they're, they're, they just turned 15 they didn't start working out till they're like 12 or 13 because I wanted to make sure that's what they wanted to do not what I wanted to do or what I wanted them to do I was never going to push them in it because again I feel like I see it all the time where these parents are just making it a job at a young age you're working out before school, after school, with practice seven days a week. I'm like, the pros don't even work that much. Yeah. These are kids, so yeah. they're, they're, you know that light is going to burn out. So no, yeah, I didn't work. I didn't work him it. out. I paid people to work him out, or, and that was it. I never. I didn't. Even, sometimes I didn't it, even. He yeah, wanted, wanted to do it. it. Sometimes foremost, I didn't even go yeah. to the workout. Right. He would waste my money. I didn't pay for it. <laughs> Where you at? Oh, I'm working out. I get another call. I thought you said you was working out. Oh, because he didn't want to do it. <laughs> What you laughing at? It's the truth. <laughs> you, you, moving on, moving on. <laughs> we absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.